Good morning, everybody. There's already bugs flying around. Oh, how I've missed being here. Awesome, awesome, awesome to be back. I am uh, very thankful to be back. And uh, I got a lot going on today. And I brought back, as you can see back here, a smoker and my electric bike, stuff like that. I bought, I brought back um, this big barrel right here. It's kind of a mess because I just got back and I started throwing everything around trying to get out of my truck but i got this big barrel right here and it's perfectly fine it's been washed out and all that stuff but i'm going to use that to uh collect water from off the property right now to be able to you know maybe if i go to the sawyers i could fill it up go down the river i could fill it up whatever it may be because my animals are going to be here and i need to have a lot of water so and then um i'm going to get my rain catchment set up up here uh that'll be once i get paid and then i'll basically have it to where it runs all the way down and then it comes down the last pole into a big water tote and uh you know i'll do all that or whatever but man i literally left for like a week and pretty much the bugs are insane i mean crazy like super crazy just walking around this morning they're all over my legs. They're flying around. So, yeah, a little bit different than uh, the Dallas area where I was at. But I am excited to be working on the tiny house. And uh, I actually have something. Kind of spoiler alert. Not really kind of giving you maybe an idea or something. Well, as you guys know, I got this cleared area over here that's kind of uh, not doing anything right now. So, I have an idea of what i want to do here and i'm probably going to do it sooner than later and uh that way just picking up stuff out of the roadway but um that way this keeps getting momentum like it was supposed to uh whether or not it was going to be exactly how it was you guys know that i'm going to move on and keep doing what i'm doing and i wanted something there anyway so i got something for that and uh I got some big things coming that I think that will uh, shock you guys. Uh, the uh, bathroom video should be coming out either today or tomorrow. Hopefully tonight if all goes according to plan. But it's going to be a long freaking day. I have to do all the stuff with the animals. Um, for the animals. The animals aren't here yet. So I need to build a door for my chicken coop area. And uh, fortify the uh, fence up a little bit more. And then kind of block off where the tent area is so the goats and chicken, well, chickens probably get in there, where the goats can't really get in there because I still have the tent area open for the dogs. And so um, it's going to be a lot of work. And then I got to go buy material and do all that, uh, clean out everything. I cleaned out everything from the back of the truck, but everything that's in the truck is still in there that I brought. But I'm going to try to um, really, really up my game on video content as far as like quality so if you guys thought the quality was already pretty good it's about to just go up a level i brought back my video gear and um i'm really going to try to step it up with that too and uh, show you guys that i may not have the best building quality because i'm learning how to build but i do have good video quality because i built that knowledge and skill level up over the last 10 years or so and i want to show you guys that but I have not, I'll just say this for the bathroom, I have not put this on there yet, uh, possibly today, maybe that'd be cool, I just don't know, um, I'm actually going to run into town at some point today and try to get some more materials for that and uh, see if I can't finish off the uh, bathroom part, it won't be completely finished, hope a lot of you guys aren't thinking like top to bottom is completely finished, um, it's not going to be that, but I'm going to it'll be you'll be able to tell what the bathroom is for sure so super excited for that and uh, the fact that I will be having chickens here again is gonna be super cool I'll be able to start cooking up some breakfast with the eggs and then um, I will be butchering some of the roosters off as time goes on and uh, I'll be able to eat that and the smoker that Jared gave me I'll be able to smoke um, some chickens and stuff in there if you guys have easy recipes for me to cook up some chicken and stuff please let me know remember off grid um i do have a propane grill i just need to get a thing of propane so yeah, i'm gonna try not to use it unless i have to but 
is what it is. I'm not worried. And uh, I'm really, really, again, going to try to step up my game. Unfortunately, as you guys know, i kind of been waiting around on others to get stuff done. And you can't do that. Uh, I have learned over and over that you have to just basically, unfortunately, kind of be greedy with your time and uh, who you spend it with and um, kind of do what you got to do to get things done. You can't really wait around. And uh, I ain't going to lie. I went and scrolled through um, her video, you know, and talk about. But um, the comments were brutal. I mean, crazy brutal. And uh, I get it. I get brutal comments as well on mine. So expected that. And um, But pretty much I, I think the one comment that really got me uh, was her not showing appreciation I guess and I mean it's it's a weird slippery slope I guess um, there was a lot a lot of comments saying you know she thanked everybody except me and I don't think I don't think she has to say it uh, to be completely honest, whether she wants to or not, she can. Um, I think now if she puts a video out and thanks me, it's just going to be kind of because she feels like she has to because you guys told her. But, um, again, I think her channel would have done well if she would have started a channel to an extent. Now, to where it's at, probably not. Um, let's be realistic here. No channel really starts out that way. But... Um, I'm just not worried about her thanking me or anything like that. If, um, you know, if she wants to, that's great. She said it before when she was here. Um, you know, I don't, of course, that was before all this went down. Uh, I'm sure there's some bitter feelings now, but um, it just kind of is what it is with that. And to be completely honest with you guys, uh, I just have to say there's an image that I'm trying to keep to an extent on this channel. And, um, it's not that, you know, she was in a bikini or anything like that. Cause she was in a bikini when I was filming and stuff. Um, if we were doing stuff that required bathing suits, there was no different with me having my uh, trunks on as her having a bikini. So that's not the issue. Um, it was just some other things, I guess, that um, kind of went on behind the scenes that kind of, I guess, put it into perspective that, like, oh, wow. Like, it, yeah, I don't know. I just... Um, just personal things on my end, I guess, that I just really wasn't fond of. So that was part of it, and then the lack of communication and stuff. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I hope she does great. I hope she does whatever she wants to do. Uh, you guys know that I try to promote uh, starting YouTube channels for everybody. So it's just one of those. And, you know, and I told her, I said, you know what, I want you to be able to leave here Um you know with something and so uh kind of set her up with that but yeah that's that but um another channel that's doing really awesome is at home with tom and Rhonda howard those are my neighbors down there at jared's place and uh they're doing freaking amazing they got i think almost one and a half thousand subs and they got a couple of video uh, videos out they're an older couple i say older they're about my parents age somewhere around there and uh they're about to pay off their house that they have. Um, they did more of the shed house style. They're showing their journey, stuff like that, stuff that they're going to do. So I think you guys would really, really appreciate their videos. Um, as far as filming goes, they film more like this, where I do Coffee the Crockers one take with a phone. And um, they do more of that because they're not at the point of editing or anything yet. Um, but they'll get there over time. And uh, my parents' channels, uh, Crocker Simply Southern, uh, they're doing really good. They uh, they post as often as they can, but you know life gets in the way sometimes. So please, please, please go check out um, uh, Crocker Simply Southern. Those are my parents, and the same thing. Uh, you know they got farm animals and stuff like that, and they're living their life, and they have you know medical um, things going on. My mom's legally blind. My dad has vertigo and um, active trimmers and stuff. So all these other channels that are popping up that we're recommending, um, please don't 
discredit them because of other channels that I have maybe put out there and it didn't really work out. Um, they, I really, really back my parents' channel. I back Tom and uh, Rhonda's channel because a lot of you that watch are a little bit older than I am, and I may be living the dream that you know you guys always say like I'm living through you. You're living the the life that I wanted. Uh, well, Tom and Rhonda, my parents are showing you guys that you can live the life as well, and so hopefully you guys can get something out of that. And then of course Jared's channel is doing really good. Sawyer Ridge Farms doing really good. Um, Dutch over at Keeping It Dutch, he's going off grid. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on his videos right now because traveling and whatnot being out here, so I kind of got to catch up on that. But um, he's doing all that. I'm sure he's learning real quick. Man, this lifestyle sucks. Um, I have been out here for seven months now, and it's been hard. It's been um, a journey for sure, but I'm very, very glad that I've done it and that. Uh, it has taught me a lot about myself and who I want to be around, who I want to be, um, what I want to be, and all that stuff. But this tiny house is getting done. It got on hold for a minute due to stuff, but uh, it's back, and uh, I got to do what I got to do. I'm going to run back to the Dallas area and um, pick up my animals and then be back, and then it's a whole new ball game. I got basically my life here again i have my animals and um, i can be a lot more self um, reliant and sustain sustainable because i'm going to have the animals here and uh yeah i'll have chickens and um you know stuff to eat and eggs and whatnot and then the goats the goats are going to help me clear out a bunch of this and a lot of you guys because i mentioned i said i'm going to let the goats roam you know and a lot of people were like freaking out saying that they're gonna run off and die and all this stuff no guys there's a fence here that's all the way around and then if i ever do so getting you sick if i ever let them roam out there or over here or whatever um i'm going to be watching them i'm not going to just like let them run off and uh you know anything of that nature but there's plenty of food for them to eat that's low they'll probably eat you know four feet high whatever they can reach all the way and clear out the whole bottom so they're not gonna be like running off all crazy they'll stay in one spot at a time because there's so much to eat so no worries with that but i'm gonna go ahead and uh get on and uh do what i'm gotta do today it's gonna be a long day i'm still wearing the same shirt that i've worn for like the last three days but uh it's what you do out here wear the same clothes every day welcome to off grid so uh we'll see y'all guys later i'm gonna be uh keeping up with coffee crockers again now that i'm not traveling too much and uh i'm gonna be pumping out the videos on the tiny house stuff like that and uh i may possibly have a project i'll just say that so project may be coming guess feel like guessing about anything comment down below and guess what you think the project might be see ya